What's up guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner, and today we have the SCAR 16 SBR. Now, I've done videos on this on the past, but I have changed a lot since my last video. So let me kind of run you through what we have here. We have a SCAR 16. This is a 10 inch 556 SBR. I bought the factory 10 inch barrel. I did not have it cut. And we have a Surefire RC762 Mini, which in previous videos I was running an RC2556, but I'm really liking the 762 Mini on there. It's pretty low back pressure, and I would say decibel wise, like sound to your ear, it's about the same. And then we also upgraded the flashlight, so we have a Surefire Scout Light Turbo. This is their new, it's only 700 lumens, but you have about 100,000 candela, so it throws that light pretty far compared to the Scout Light 1500 lumen. And then on top, we have an app PLC. This is basically the PEC 15. It works as your IR aiming device. Now I don't have a uh, night vision out here with me today, obviously, but um, we are gonna get some more footage of this in the future with some night vision, because I haven't shot it with night vision yet, but this is a real app PLC, so it's fully night vision capable. And then one of the biggest upgrades we've done recently is we replaced the EOTech from my previous videos with an LCAN Spectre DR. So this is a one to four, basically badass, built like a tank rifle scope is the best way to put it. So you have a scope, it's got a built-in red dot if you need it, you can illuminate the entire crosshair, and then with just the throw of a lever, so right now it's on four power, we can flip it to one X. So this is a pretty nice, unfortunately expensive rifle scope, but I recently acquired it and I replaced the EOTech that was on here. So those are the main upgrades we've done since I've had it, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. I have also got my Viking Tactic Sling on here, I'm running it through the factory stock, and then I have it attached via QD point on the bottom here with the Magpul QD RSA, and then we've also upgraded to a Geisley trigger. So aside from that, again, it's the factory 10 inch barrel. I did not have it cut, and yeah. We just have what I would say is probably one of the ultimate SCAR 16 setups, like SBR wise, because this has been my dream setup for a long time. I've been working on this gun since 2017, 2016, and I'm just very happy with how it's come out. Oh, we also got a talk quick detach grip. So this is a Tango Down QD grip. It stores a battery in the grip. So I have a CR123 battery for the PEC. And then this takes a 2032 battery. I actually have a few of those stored in the back rubber butt pad here. So I can take this butt pad off and I have some batteries stored in there. I don't have a spare battery for the Surefire yet, but maybe we could squeeze one on here somewhere. So yeah, this is again, one of my dream setups and I'm very happy to have it out here today. I just got the Elcan zeroed on paper and it's pretty accurate. Um, I had a steel target at 100 yards, but I broke that with a 308. That thing had taken tens of thousands around. So we have a target at about 50 yards. We have some paper here, but yeah, this is just gonna be kind of just showing you what it's like to shoot the SCAR 16 SBR. All right, so I got my eyes and ears on. Uh, again, it's suppressed, but it's not like super quiet because 556 is not meant to be the quietest suppressor round. If you want that 300 blackout, I've done plenty of videos on 300 blackout. We're gonna be shooting some 55 grain ammo. This is just Lake City. And again, we got the steel target at 50 yards. Now I will say, this is my first day really running the Elcan. I put like 30 rounds through it a couple weeks ago, but um, on one power, it is a little busy for a sight picture. This has a lot of like technology in it in a way, because you have an entire reticle, kind of like what you would see on a bigger rifle scope. And then uh, you also can just run it as a red dot. So if I turn this dial here, I have a red dot. And we also have the kill flash on front, but on one power, you do see the kill flash and uh, it does make it a little busy. But aside from that, I mean, it's pretty easy to be accurate with it. So we're gonna see how well it shoots. So that's one power. I could flip it to four X and now it's instantly four power magnification. So yeah, it went a little too fast for two of those rounds, but yeah, this is a very nice setup. And if you're wondering how I have the light and laser setup, so on our pressure pad here, the first button up front is your light. And then the second button would be your laser and illuminator. So I have to turn it on. It's turned off right now because again, you can't see it. That would be the IR device. So that's your IR illuminator and laser. And this is just your visible light. And it works pretty well. If I'm not using it, I just run my thumb right here. And as far as cable management goes, I have it behind the grip. So if I ever had to put this gun on something, I'm not gonna tear up those cables slamming it on there. So the way I have it set up, it's pretty comfortable to me. This is a reciprocating charging handle, but my hand is never in the way of it. So you'll watch the charging handle. And it's just perfect the way it is. I like it on this side because I can easily get to it with my left hand, keep my right hand on the gun and yeah, shoot a couple more rounds. 
put it back on one X. And let me know what you guys think of this. As far as how I have the sling set up, so again, I'm right-handed, I can run it this way. I can swap it if I need to by just throwing this over, feeding through, and then now I'm left hand. And we're out, magazine reload. Not the greatest left-handed, but it's, it's good to practice. Tighten the sling back up. Yeah, it's pretty pretty smooth. I mean, I don't have any crazy drills set up right now, but yeah, this thing is sick. I love this gun so much. Beautiful, got the can smoking. So one thing with the way this is set up, your gas shoots out the front, so this can uh, I mean, we're probably just now hitting 100 rounds on this can today, but look, the gas does blow all over the suppressor, so um, if you're trying to maintain it, you just got to wipe it down after we range it, because you know that'll turn basically pitch black on top of the suppressor, because your gas is escaping out the front. One thing I'd like to do to this at some point is maybe replace the piston setup with the Mototech, because then you have a lot more adjustments to really tune it down, because depending on what ammo we shoot through it, it's going to change how much uh, gas is going through, how much back pressure you have, but that's why I'm running a 30 cal can is to reduce the back pressure. But again, we're just running some 55 grain ammo, it's not too bad. But yeah, and another thing you'll notice is, see how my hand is kind of turning black? Even though it's right there, the gas is escaping and getting on the top of my hand. Gassy guns. All right guys, we're gonna to try to show you this as best we can. So you see the honeycomb looking thing in there? That is your kill flash, so that reduces the amount of glare off the front of the lens. If uh, you know people were on the front side of your gun, you don't want them to see you. Uh, let's see if I can show you the reticle. It's kind of hard to do this through a camera lens. I'm trying to show you guys the reticle, but I'll pull up a picture and I'll just put it right here. But yeah, busy reticle. It's pretty cool though, and I think over time as I learn it, it's gonna be a very nice reticle, especially shooting at different distances. Again, this is only a 10 inch gun, but it's very capable even with the 10 inch barrel. Put it back on one power. I was, I didn't know what I wanted to do there. I dropped it, but then I'm like, wait. <laughs> All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this car. I know it was kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys a rundown of it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Damn, she a beaut.